What's going on guys? Happy holidays. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. In this video I'm going to help you set up your charge controller for lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now the charge controller I have is a Renogy 60 amp commander. Um, I actually just purchased 200 amp hours of Renogy lithium iron phosphate batteries. Um, they actually came in the mail and I contacted Renogy all excited saying hey what are the settings uh, for the commander for custom so I can set them up for lithium iron phosphate and they said oh uh, we discontinue that controller because it doesn't work with lithium iron phosphate batteries you have to go buy our new rover uh, line of controllers for your batteries now after doing a little research online I found out that is complete and utter bullcrap um, what the commander won't do is it won't reactivate lithium iron phosphate batteries if the BMS has been activated. Now this would happen from draining the voltage too low um, or from having them charge uh, below freezing. It would shut them off. They would read 0.0, .0 volts and you would need a lithium iron phosphate charger to then activate, uh, reactivate or shut off the BMS and have the batteries acting normal again. Uh, so the workaround for this is to actually get a NOCO G7200 charger. That is the size I'm going to get for my 200 amp hour bank. Um, what you do is you plug this in and it will reactivate the BMS uh, or it will reset the BMS uh, in under 15 minutes and then you will be all set to charge as normal. Um, and hopefully this helps a lot of you because I could not find a video for this on YouTube. Um, so hopefully this helps a lot of people out. If it does, please leave a like. Um, if you have a question, leave a comment. I am no solar expert, but I will try my best to help you out. And uh, subscribe for, for more videos and subscribe for the adventure that's about to come as uh, we take Boris through the mountains and do some skiing and live it up. So. Without further ado, here are the settings. I will walk you through it right on my charge controller. All right, so from your charge controller, you're gonna, if you're on your regular monitoring screen, you're gonna hit the escape button. It's gonna bring you out to the menu. From here, you're gonna go down, go to number five, which is control parameters, and click okay. Now, if it asks you for a password and you haven't changed it, it should just be all zeros. Uh, so what you're going to do here, I already have mine set up from uh, my discussion with Renogy on the phone earlier today. Um, you're going to set your battery type to user. So once you get to this menu, you're going to hit the OK button, input your password, which is all zeros, and now you're in. So these two left buttons that I'm hitting will scroll you through to make selections and then to change the selection you hit these buttons on the right up and down so you can hit user set your battery amp hour to, to whatever your amp hour total is um, and then keep scrolling down you're gonna leave your temperature coefficient the same this actually doesn't matter with lithium iron phosphate uh, because they have the BMS battery management system uh, protection built in so if it gets below freezing, the batteries will know and they don't need the temp sensor to shut it off. So you just leave that the same. Uh, you're gonna leave your rated voltage at auto. Um, it's 12 volts anyway, you can't series these batteries, you can only parallel them. Your overvolt disconnect is gonna stay at 16. Your charge limit is going to be 15. Your overvolt rect is 15. Your equalized charge is going to be 14.4 um, so basically you're only gonna have to change your equalize your boost and your float and all of these should be 14.4 according to Renogy um, again do your own research this is what Renogy told me to do I bought their batteries so I am trusting them and if something happens to my batteries it should be covered under warranty because these are the settings that they gave me uh, Boost reconnect voltage 13.2. Low voltage reconnect should be 12.6. Under voltage reconnect should be 12.2. 
under voltage warning should be 12 volts. Low voltage disc chip connect should be 11.1 .1, and your discharge limit should be 10.6. The equalize time, it's not gonna equalize, so you're gonna set that to zero. Um, and for boost, I was told to put in 60 minutes in comparison to the normal um, 120 minutes that is usually set in there. Now for this, uh, basically if you're not running an inverter and you're just running solar, you're going to pick Volcom and that'll give you um, what your state of charge is. If you are running an inverter in big loads, then you should be clicking this SOC button um, according to Renogy and you want to set your discharge SOC to 10%. Now what that number is, according to Renogy, is when the, the controller will make a frown face at you. Um, so if I get out of these settings right here, and I come back to my monitoring, you'll see the smiley face. That smiley face, if I had it at 50 right now, would be a frown face. Uh, because I'm below 50%, you can tell by the line. Um, so yeah, those are the settings for lithium iron phosphate according to uh, Renogy. Once again, I'm not responsible. If you put in the wrong settings, blow up your batteries. Um, this is what Renogy told me to put in. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you did, please leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. Um, I try to get back to everybody. And uh, yes. Yeah.